talked quite a bit on the radio and via social media over the last couple of weeks about the Academy Awards. So I'm going to turn it over to you. Let's start with Best Picture. Who do you like? I'm going to go Green Book. I think it's the most entertaining of the stories. Uh, you know, fabulous uh, chemistry between Mahershala Ali and Migo Mortensen. Uh, I, I think that's going to be it. Uh, some of the other movies are going to cancel themselves out. Like I think Bohemian Rhapsody and The Star is Born kind of cancel each other out. So I would go Green Book. All right. What about uh, supporting actor and actress? We just mentioned him. Uh, I mean, there's an argument that he should be you know, uh, co build as, as a strong actor, but uh, although you gotta like Sam Elliott and The Star is Born, boy, I thought he was fabulous. He didn't get as much screen time as Mahershala, and then Adam Driver's powerful in Black Lantern as well, but I think Mahershala is a lock for that one. This is the Golden Globe thought so. What about actors? Uh, we're talking supporting actress. Good question. Uh, the, the, the Marina de Tavera from Roma, I don't know if you had a chance to watch that on Netflix, uh, she's interesting choice. I think Emma Stone and Rachel Weisz kind of cancel each other out in the favorite. Uh, Amy Adams didn't do much for me in Vice, so I'm going to go with Marina from Roma. Uh, uh, interesting pick. I, I think she'll be a surprise candidate, a surprise winner. All right, we're going to come back and talk lead actor and actress, and then also the impact of the Oscars. Is it still as important as it once was to give a hooray for Hollywood on their biggest night? I think so. We'll hear what Scott has to say next.